welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Louisa, hello, I post lifestyle, personal and vlog content. Today is Monday, new week. Today is the 29th of August. This is another Taipei sightseeing travel vlog. I'm going out today. I just did my makeup. I haven't worn makeup in over a month. I thought I would put some effort into my appearance and this is the outfit I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this white v-neck top and this white shirt from Nair and then these ripped blue denim shorts from PLT. I like the outfit. The last time I vlogged and caught up with you guys was when I went to Dan Shui and Bali Island with my family and then I went to Shangsan Mountain. The plan of today entails of me going to Nehu shopping center. I am planning to actually go on the massive Ferris wheel there. I'm gonna go into the Mercedes store, do some window shopping, just do some retail therapy, take you guys along with me. And I'm also gonna go to the art shopping center. It's called At Elife. And then I might go to Sun Yat-san Memorial Hall or Nanjing Fuxing later on today, depending on how today goes yesterday night guys i just uploaded the penghu island holiday vlog finally oh my god that took so long for me to edit it was like one of the longest vlogs i've ever done but i'm so glad that it's uploaded and that you guys can finally see it and also my brother is back to school so today is his very first day of school after the summer break i'm going by myself but i don't mind i've been to a lot of places by myself anyways i'm glad to spend time by myself it's not a problem I've got practice solitude practice confidence i just forgot to tell you guys i have an instagram it's called louisa.petty feel free to follow me on instagram it will be linked in the description box below thank you so much for following me on instagram and thank you so much for subscribing to my youtube channel i'm sure that the lighting is okay oh i like this lighting thank you so much for tuning in so let the vlog comments and let's go to Taipei. Marama Cinema and Yanan Road Shopping Centre Department Store. Here I am. I can't find a Mercedes store. For some reason, I thought they had a Mercedes store, but I know there's one near Costco's. I've seen that one, but I can't see it, which is weird. But anyways, I'm gonna go inside, do some retail therapy, show you guys around in here. I have Uniqlo, Muji. TGI Fridays and probably some brands that you guys are familiar with. Also, I remember going here a lot of times when I was younger. Me, my mum and brother would go to this buffet behind the shopping centre and it was like an all-you-can-eat buffet and had cake, sushi, different types of food. I'm going to get a drink now. I've been here before, so it's not something that I'm so amazed or surprised by. But this time I thought it'd be nice to like show you guys. If you guys are into window shopping, retail therapy, or just shopping in general, this is a cool place to go to. Just crossing the road. And I got 
this yogurt drink from 7 Eleven is only 12 NT dollars. This is just a quick drink. I'm gonna go to the Ferris wheel. So that's the Ferris wheel I'm going on basically. This is going to be my second time I'm going on this. I went there once when I was around 14 years old. So I thought it would be cool to vlog it. It is big. So there's the metro train. There's the mountains. I think this is like an apartment complex. So I'm actually on the Ferris wheel. I went to have a look at the game arcade and apparently you wasn't allowed to film in there. It's called Tom's World Game Arcade. Me and my family used to play the game arcade in Tainan in a department store. That's also in Tom's World. I'm a little bit scared, but it's okay. Quite nice. I've got samples here. I tried these before. These are over and it smells so good. This one is working actually. This is nice. They've got essential oils, incense sticks. I actually quite like Muji. It's very like simple. So yeah. I've been lying on the bed because I'm tired at the moment. I'm just taking a break. This mask is a bit wonky. But yeah. I'll keep you guys updated. inside than it looks on the outside but at night time this looks pretty cool i'm excited to show you guys what the inside looks like got these things outside these white buildings they look like garden houses kind of reminds me of the uk we've got some fairy lights here umbrellas but it's pretty cool i'm gonna go inside and see if i'm gonna get something
This is so cute. I absolutely love the little Puma. It looks so cute. Oh, they've got stickers, stationery. I think I'll probably get something like this. Or probably this for to-do lists. This is a big Rillacuma teddy bear. I think this is the female version. This is cute. This is good for picnics. Like. I like a bit of retail therapy. Oh, this is a pillow. Oh, this is cute. Oh, it's furry. A cute really cute thing stamp pad, quite satisfying. These are cute. I think this is like a vending machine. Really cute. Me with the pink rabbit. This was 55 MT. This is what I got from the shop. Ocean bomb bubble milk tea in a can. place called dreamers coffee i've never tried this before i don't think i've seen this before but i might get a drink from here because i'm actually quite thirsty i like seeing italian restaurants in taiwan and there is taipei 101 from this view it looks beautiful as always at night time i just love looking at it at night time I just really like recording it, I love taking photos of it. There's Dance on Studio, um, Song Yatsen Memorial Hall, um, and Mona. Japanese 
is a matcha latte. It says, I never give up on her, which is good. And it has the brand Dreamers. Oh, this is better lighting. Here it is. So this was 130 NT dollars for medium size. It's my first time trying this cafe. Yeah. So I am so tired from going out today. I know the lighting isn't the best. I've got a headache at the moment, but I'm just chilling here. There are some inspirational, motivational quotes, like the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. What else? Don't be embarrassed by your failures, learn from them and start again. It's located right next to Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall Station. Hi hey guys, so I'm back home. It is currently 9pm. I've just got back, but it feels good to come back. I was out for around five hours. When I went to Dreamers Coffee, the place I showed you guys, I just took like around half an hour to chill there. Just to let you guys know that I have almost spent all my Taiwanese money and I'm actually glad that I managed to hold on to it for that long. Like I literally got like 200 NT dollars left. Like that's literally it. It was worth it. I mean, I got to show you guys the places. Tomorrow, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do. I might go to a cafe to do some editing. If you watch to the end, thank you so much. Thank you for watching my vlog. Thank you so much for subscribing. And feel free to follow me on TikTok. I post self-care and mental health tips on there. I provide some value on my TikTok. It's just nice to go to the places I remember going to when I was younger. There's a lot of places in Taipei and Taiwan that feel nostalgic to me because I've been to Taiwan quite a lot of times before but it felt really nice to just go there and be able to share it and just document it. I started my YouTube after the last time I visited Taiwan so it just feels really nice to be able to share it with you guys and then I'm gonna have a shower. I'll see you guys very soon. I just unwrapped this cute mini notepad just putting it near my souvenir collection so this is my souvenir collection that i've collected in taiwan i really like it this is what the pages look like inside i just love the pancake design and just the cute design this is my overall souvenir collection from taiwan for dinner i have tomato sweet spaghetti with octopus and clams i just warmed it up in the microwave hey and I got grey soy milk with ice. So yeah, I am hungry and I'm definitely looking forward to eating all of this.